Mike O'Mealy began his career as a photographer by taking photos of his friends skateboarding and he's still doing it today. I'm about to catch up with him and hear all about it. If I set out with one motive, it was to give the, the person viewing my photo just a sense of what it's like to be there, whether it means a guy's going down a hill that's really steep and it's frightening or they're in, for instance, China or Egypt where there's lots of bicycles, hectic cars and traffic and I just want to kind of certainly include that as a photographer but somehow whether it's through the film I choose or the angle or just the time of day or just give a sense of atmosphere and that's something that I've tried to really instill into my work over the years and working for magazines you get to meet certain skaters and they'll get in touch with you and uh, oftentimes a guy will have an idea of a spot that he wants to go and do a certain trick or sometimes I will have a spot that I found or seen or heard about that I'll think of a certain skater and think that they might really like that or maybe they'll be able to do something cool. So there's those two situations but um, having said that it's not my favorite thing to do sort of to pre-plan it. I'm, I'm really sort of more lean towards the spontaneous just like skating around and finding something. There's this sort of under, unspoken self-policing kind of like quality control in skating that maybe you don't find in a lot of other things and that's something I particularly enjoy about skating. I went to Egypt in, the, in September of the year 2000 and that just felt really like strange because it was me and a couple other skaters. One guy, Cairo Foster, who used to live there, that's how we got the name. But uh, we were the only, like we were a handful of only like white people, let alone skateboarders. And I remember people really staring at us like we stood out. But we had a cool experience of like, you know, this Egyptian cab drivers in front of a hotel in the full, I think they call it a jalaba, which is like, you know, the, the ankle length sort of dress that men wear there. And they're wanting to, eventually they saw us skating, they wanted to try the skateboards. And it's, you know, just the classic cultural icebreaker. And I don't think many skaters at all had been to Egypt then. And I, I just felt like this is maybe the first time a lot of these people are even seeing a skateboard. So that felt really special to be able to experience that and just see the kids' eyes light up and then old men want to try it. I shot photos in New York City on September 12th, 2001, after the Trade Center came down. And it was a really spooky vibe in the city that day. And I have one pretty classic photo that's on my website. Um, and it, it, it's classic to me or it's meaningful to me because the look on the faces of these guys really represents the sort of the feeling in the city that day of like fear, but also like the resilience of New York as like, oh, we're going to come back again and we're skating. But it's a, there's a lot of emotions written on their face without really... You know, you could, it's, it's an intense moment, I think. 